Money, 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 money. Hello, my rosebuds, and welcome back to the Nava Rose channel. Guess who is standing on her bed again? I just really like this lighting, okay? So I've always wanted to create a video where I show you guys different ways of how you can DIY your jeans to making them unique and something that you only have. These methods are really affordable and they're all completely no sew. So you guys can make your jeans look super cool and make them look like they're designer or something. Okay, maybe not designer, but like super expensive. Okay, they started to like do some plumbing work. So I'm gonna just talk really, really loudly. Is that okay with you guys? I'm super excited for this video because I've always wanted to do it for such a long time. So thank you to American Eagle for sponsoring this video. They're all gonna be from their next level jeans, which is their latest jean fit. And they really want to focus on fit and comfort for these jeans. That way it could make you feel comfortable and just allow you to be the best you that you could ever be. American Eagle has a campaign right now called Make Moves. And it's about you doing your daily grind, doing what you're most passionate about, whether it's like dancing, shopping, that could be a passion, doing sports, doing DIYs, pretty much anything that you love to do. AE and Me is all about individuality and being different and being able to do what you want. So I really want to take that concept and show you guys how you could change your normal jeans that look like everyone else's and make them you and show your individuality and just be creative on your jeans. That way everyone else could be jealous of your jeans and be like, oh, where'd you get those? It could be like with a hair whip. Oh, I made these jeans. Sorry, you can't have them or buy them anywhere else. Just like that. In this video, you'll see all the different ways that I tried to make these jeans me. I want to say that you guys can see like the Nava Rose in these jeans. Like that's what I was totally going for. So definitely share your looks and your stories to hashtag AE and me. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the... Oh my gosh, I almost broke a nail. Super going for that snap, you know? And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. And without further ado, let's jump into these tutorials. First, we're gonna start off with the bleach design since that is the easiest. All you need are a pair of dark wash jeans. These are the mom jeans in classic vintage destroy. A bleach pen, a regular pen, and the design that you wanna add. Put a piece of cardboard where you want your design to be so that the bleach doesn't bleed onto the other side. Next, I'm trying to sketch the rows onto the jeans. I'm doing the main parts like the center, the bottom, a couple leaves, and a couple petals. And then after that, I tried to draw the rest in. Honestly, doing a rose was super easy because really, it's just a bunch of squiggly circles piled around each other. Using the small end of your bleach pen, carefully trace your drawing using the bleach gel. The bleach actually spreads about 2 millimeters thicker than the gel, so make sure you're using a very, very thin line. Also, don't squeeze too hard because it comes out really quickly. If you happen to mess up, just wipe it off very quickly with the tissue before it starts working. Once you're done, let this dry and do its thing for about two hours. After it's dried, you can wash and dry it and then it's ready to go. These buckle jeans are a little extra, but if that's your style, then this look is totally for you. For this, you need black jeans. These are the high waist jeggings in proper black, belt trim, an X-Acto knife or something sharp to poke holes through, buckles, grommets, which are not really necessary, but it just makes it look a little cooler, E6000 glue, grommet pliers, and scissors. First, wrap the belt trim and cut off a piece that fits around your thigh. Then about one inch down on one end of the trim, poke a small hole with your X-Acto knife. Feed the end through one side of the buckle, poke the buckle prong through the hole, and then feed the end back down through the other side. Add some E6000 glue to the inside and hold this down. I'm using a creepy squash that has bumped all over it because I'm trying to be festive, you know? While that's drying, you can add grommets to the other end of the strap. Snip a small hole with your scissors and then push a grommet through. Attach the grommet using your pliers or the grommet tool that it came with. I only added three total, but you guys can add as many as you'd like. I finished off the strap by making a V end and melting the edges to keep it from fraying. 
Add more glue to the inside of the strap and then place this onto the back of the thigh. Then place a heavy object and let this dry overnight. I'm not kidding guys, like this is the only heavy object I have at my house at the moment. I also made a third buckle strap for a belt because I thought it would look cool but it ended up looking very repetitive so I suggest sticking to two max. But I love how these turned out, they're perfect for anyone whose style is really edgy and it's a different twist to adding trim to your outfit. All I need is short term devotion I don't wanna be so emotional just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you No ties And to make this knee slit look, you need any colored jeans These are the super high-waisted jeggings in Fresh Bright An ink pen, paintbrush, scissors, white paint I thought I was gonna use puffy paint, but I didn't like it So I switched it to regular white acrylic paint And lastly, some clear tape Put your jeans on and mark where you want your slits to be. I usually like to cut super skinny rectangles versus lines because I feel like it shows more of the knee. Print out your text that you want for your knees and place a piece of clear tape over it. Make sure that your text is mirrored so that when you paint it, it comes out correctly. Trace your letters with your pen and press the ink side onto your jeans. When you lift it, it should have transferred the ink onto the jeans so that you have an outline to paint with. I suggest working with two letters at a time because the ink does dry quickly. After you're happy with the placement, you can now start painting. You can also retrace the letters to make it easier for you to see. Once you're done painting, let this dry for about an hour and you are completely finished. If I wanted more than this I love you until I'm gone But you only get a sip So show me a good time I don't care For these grommet hole jeans, you need some wide leg jeans. These are the wide leg crop jeans in beautiful bleach out. Large grommets, I got these in downtown LA. A fabric pen, E6000 glue, and scissors. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these gorgeous Versace inspired grommets? Like, yes, they are so beautiful. First, turn your jeans inside out and trace the inside hole of the grommets around the base of the leg. Once you're happy with the placement, cut out the holes, but you actually want to cut a little bigger than the marking, but just a little. You want the hole to be big enough to where you're not seeing any denim poking through the hole, but not too big to where the grommet will fall through, if that makes any sense. My grommets have these useless prongs, so I remove those with my pliers. Add E6000 glue around the edge and place the grommet on top. Repeat this to the rest of the grommets and let them dry overnight. They were pretty heavy, so they didn't really need any weight. I used five grommets on each leg, but I feel like you could use up to six or seven, depending on how big they are. This was definitely one of my favorite DIYs because, I don't know, I just really love clothes with cutout details. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some inspo on how you guys can change up your jeans. Definitely send me pictures. I say this at the end of every video, but I absolutely love it when you guys send me photos because I just get so inspired by you guys, even though you guys were inspired by me. It's just like one big circle of inspiration, you know? Thanks again to American Eagle for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the number rose. I really like this setup because I can like move and stuff and not be like stuck on a chair or anything. Yes. Anyways, I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I can do this. Can I touch it or not? Don't touch it. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh.